Welcome back to Fragmental. As promised, Aaron is back again. We've got five more new 2021 releases that Aaron is going to share his opinion on. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. So here we go. We have just filmed a video about five other new release fragrances. So if you've not seen that one, do check that one out after this. But we've got five more. I was thinking about doing 10 in one video, but to talk about them properly, I think it, it maybe just takes too long and you rush through sure. them. So we decided to break this into two videos. So we've got five different fragrances to talk about in this one. And in the previous one, we did them off test strips, but we've decided since there's only five to do now, we've already done the other video. Aaron's going to do them on skin. So scared. Sometimes in these videos, we have to do them off strips. There's no yeah. other way. We don't have enough skin to spray them on skin, but because there's only five, we've decided let's do these on skin and, uh, and then you can get that full sort of opening at least yeah. from them anyway. So five new 2021 releases. Where do you want the first one sprayed? Uh, do there. Okay, in there. All right. Do you want me to tell you what these are? You'll probably no. see them as I'm spraying them. Uh, no, I'm, yeah. try I'm really, really right. trying not to. Try not to, try not to look to be, at what they are. Yeah. So this, the demographic of this is slightly older because the way it's been built, it doesn't have that. Um, so what I've noticed is fragrances that are built for 20 to 30 are built in a different way from 30 plus because then the, the uh, nose changes. Yeah. So this Absolutely. is an uh, older, masculine, confident, self-assured, bitter, which I don't think you like. There's a bitterness to it. Yeah. And it's bitter, metallic. And the metallic is done for the choice of musk and the ambroxin. This is ambroxin heavy. Yeah. Um, I agree. Definitely not a sweet fragrance. No. This and I, I, but this to me smells older. Mm -hmm. And I personally don't like this style of perfumery because it's, uh, it, it's, it's a little bit too um, palatable. And the, the um, it's uh, got elmly oil in, and elmly oil is a uh, smells of nettles and bitter. So this is bitter yeah. from does herbal herbal bitterness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I do quite like that about because it, it, whenever some, something has that herbally bitterness, it makes me think of crisp things, and it's got this crisp, crisp, crisp freshness, ingredient. But yeah. I, ugh, again, I don't like. Um, yeah. Uh, a struggle with green, crisp, yeah. bitter. Uh, I'm mm. always surprised at the people that like it. That's why I don't produce anything that's green. If it's if it's too strong in a fragrance, it's too much for me. But if it's in a balanced amount, I find it can. I tell you why I don't like this. This has got uh, beta ionones in, and the be, the beta ionones have that. Um, it's quite painful when they smell green and bitter, mixed with sort of le lemon as a citrus. So this is. Uh, uh, quite painful, headache inducing, strong, potent. Yeah. You would smell this like a mile of. Yeah. I would quite imagine though, that if I was over there, I mm -hmm. might enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah. But I personally don't like the, um, the accelerating raw materials, the, you know, it's, it's just the choice of Roman chemicals I don't particularly like. I think the dry down's better. Yes, I do. I agree. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, I, I don't, it smooths out in the dry down. Uh, yeah. So I think, and actually you can smell the underlying. Uh, aroma chemicals that are slightly sweeter. Yeah. So this is it, some woody raw materials in that are sweeter, smoother. So this is smoothing out. Yeah. So this is drying down much better. Yeah. So I wouldn't, whatever this is, I wouldn't judge it straight off. I would spray it on, leave it for an hour. Yeah. Which is what I did when I bought this. I went into the store, I sprayed it on, and I left the store, went and had a coffee, let it settle down, and it was based on the whole thing, the dry down and the open. Yeah, yeah, but this is not gonna come with the skin. So this is right. a monster. So this is right. gonna stay on mm. the skin, project off. Okay. Uh, but cool. for me, it's a little bit, um, it's got mint in it. So it's got that sort yeah. of, um, it's herbaceous, green, dry, metallic, masculine, a little bit headache inducing. Um, yeah, so I think this is polarizing. You like it or you don't like it. Yeah. I personally don't like I th it. I think that's pretty much, um, yeah, sums, yeah, sums okay. that one up, yeah. Um, right, out of 10? Uh, so Based I- Based on the opening? Uh, I don't like the opening, but I think that if you love it, you love it. Mm -hmm. And I think from a technical point of view, to get that sort of projection, that sort of longevity is excellent. Yeah. So personally, I think it's excellent technically put together but personally, I don't like it. So right. I always mark these ones about a seven because Fine, I think they're fair, excellent yeah. Yeah. and technically brilliant and we yeah. have all its paperwork, 
but personally I can't stand it and so, I, I'd yeah. want to wash this off my skin. So actually. technically a very well made fragrance, yeah, 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 yeah. but just not to your personal uh, taste. No, not to my yeah. taste, but, but I don't like it. Yeah, I think so. considered. Okay, fair enough. Right, on to the next one. So close your eyes while I spray this on your arm Look and away. you want it just here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just one. Okay. Just one? Yeah, yeah, that's enough. That's all you need. This is more, this, these are expensive. So I know these are much more expensive than the first five because the okay. choice of raw materials are higher up. So you can tell a, mm. a, a higher grade raw, just the choice of raw materials is different. So the expect, I would imagine they'd be more expensive. Mm. This is blue, Dijamersonal. You just smell Dijamersonal, it's in everything. It's got that, yeah, that, that crisp, blue. sharp blue, blue. Sort of smell, so it's a blue, it? yeah. yeah. Oh, this is drying down generic. What a shame. This is, starts off green, which is going to be weird in green colours. Green and goes dry down. This is primarily a blue fragrance that that's, starts off green and uh, got that dewy thing to it. Yeah. And this has got, so that people that would love the first one would love this one. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. very uninspiring because it smells so generic. So I would price this lower than the first one, actually. Okay. Yeah. Out of term, what would you give it? A seven. I, I, um, it, sorry, it's strong though. So, right. a seven. Yeah, yeah, the high marks, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, you had exactly the same thoughts as me on this one. Okay. I, I thought, in, in my review, I said, uh, nice opening, yeah. but I thought it just quickly dried down to be boring. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah, right, next one. Where do you want it? Uh, just there? Uh, no, do there. Yeah, there. A bit weird, I'm looking weird. <laughs> yeah, anyone in this part watching us? So this, so interesting, when you, when you, uh, create a fragrance and if you use it you generally you use Isu Super and Hedion which are the way to build a modern fragrance with lots of embroxin and stuff but mm -hmm. this has got Hedion on the top and yeah. Isu Super on the other round and you can smell that because it's lighter and airy so mm -hmm. this is light airy very light very airy, masses of the major floor materials so this is clean fresh uh, soft dewy I think I know I think I know the company because of what's in it so this, this to me smells like that, um, that sort of Creed thing. And Creed use a high amounts of a raw material. Uh, they use two raw materials massively with Ambroxin. So this smells uh, like a posh design of fragrance and it smells like a Creed. And it's got that dry linen and the dryness is different. The dryness is coming from high amounts of Ambroxin. So this is yeah. Ambroxin heavy. It's very much so, yeah. You can smell the Ambroxin, it's got that dry yeah. uh, and ice so you can smell the ice so super, you can smell the Ambroxin, you can smell the lily, the lily of the valley raw materials are really, really high up. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're smelling, the sort of posh. I always think that when you've got lily of the valley raw materials high up, mm -hmm. major raw materials high up, they smell like very posh fabric conditioner and this smells yeah. like posh fabric conditioner. Okay, yeah, yeah. At night, I think this is all right though. You like it? Yeah, yeah. I quite like okay. it because I love Personally, I love the smoothness that you get from the combination of Lily of the Valley raw materials. I love the Hedio and the i Super and the Ambroxan. So I think, but I, again, I don't think, this has been to be mass appealing. Yes. Absolutely, but the problem is, it's a little bit unimaginative. I'd love to see some other raw materials flicked in, but I'd tell you why they don't do it. They don't want to be disliked. And when you put in mm. some other raw materials, you're talking, a lot of money that goes into development right. and they've got to make sure that they get their money back so i think it's the best one out of the three okay out of ten mm, an eight i think it's per i think it's right like, mm. very but good I, but okay. it's purely because i love the choice of raw materials i love the sure. i love those the high amounts of the raw materials which i really like yeah great great okay eight out of ten for that one right next one where do you want mm, to that one yeah okay don't look i'm not looking yeah i like this one but then I love Orientals. I love, mm -hmm. yeah, I love cinema alcohol. Cinema alcohol is one of my most favourite things. Yeah, I like this very much. I love cinema alcohol. I love Kumar and I love vanillin. Yeah. I love lemon, patchouli. Yeah, very nice. And I love, so one of the raw materials in this is, is called, is an amber raw material. And that is in this and I love it. Yeah. This is very nice. This smells uh, similar to my work. Mm. There's a similarity to if I was to create something like this, how I'd build it. Patchouli, I enjoy this one as well. Vanilla. Yeah, very nice. This yeah. one this one I really like. Great. So what? And it's not linear. Oh, it's incense -y. I love the incense to it. Yeah? And that is right. with uh, eugenol benzyl benzoate. So that this I like very much. 
I, think, I, I just nine. I think it's. I think it's very good. Whoa, Aaron Terrence uses rated a fragrance yeah. a nine on my I, channel. I like it, and I love. There's a raw material in this which smells of. If you smell it, yeah. you'll smell something that smells of peach melba. Smell it again. Smell it. Peach melba. The peach melba ice cream. Pink. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Got yeah. It's like sort of smooth fruitiness. Smooth peach melba. Yeah. Vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. and that is ethyl vanilla, and it's a raw material which I can never pronounce. Well, it is quite ice cream. Yeah, I the, the it, peach. Yeah. Think of peach melba ice cream. Right, that's what it smells of. And then it's also got uh, aldehydes in C14, C18, gamma galactone. Yeah. So this is really good. I really there's, like. There's a slight problem. I don't think I've ever had peach melba ice cream. Oh dear. Think but of. Um, I'll take your word for it. Think of pink. Uh, think of peach. Yeah. And then think of vanilla ice cream. Right. So peach and vanilla together. Yeah. 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 Okay. I yeah. love this. Great. Yeah, very good. good. Okay, yeah, interesting. Like good. Nine, a nine out of ten. Wow. I would wear that. And this is going to be long lasting, yeah. radiant of the skin. It's an oriental. The ionones are done really well. This is really good. Modern perfumery done really well. The others, I think, are a bit. I th Do you know what I think the thing is with these? Is the companies are so frightened to deviate to from the mainstream. Yeah. yeah, and so you get the same recurring sort of things. Yeah. Whereas this, I think, is a company that might have thought we're going to do something a little bit different yeah. and that I really like. Yeah. But I like that one. It does. Cleanness to it. As a designer fragrance, this one does stand out as yeah. being, uh, as not being too derivative or generic, even though it is a flanker. Very Absolutely. nice, is it? Right, okay, yeah. last one. There. Well, let's get that wasp away from us. It's, it's come to enjoy the fragrances. Yeah. Right. Where do you want it? Just there? Yes, okay, please. here we go. Citrus heavy. Yeah. And I think mandarin, mandarin, pink pepper, lemon, Isu Super Hedion, and then it's got some top note musk mix, mixed with some base note musk. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, fleeting and not very long lasting. And that's that's my criticism with and it can be done. How do you tell that just from that initial? Uh, because you're right. I got the, exactly that yeah, from because I'm, because I'm making stuff uh, eight hours a day, seven you days know a week. The I, I know, and so I know so. pretty much how it's going to act, what yeah, it's going to do, the, the cost of it. But that's my job, isn't it? Yeah, it's your job, isn't it? Yeah. But the um, it's got some um, terp terpenol compounds in it, terpenol acetate, ter terpenol, yeah. and they give a limey finish to them. Yeah. But this, I can imagine, on some people's skin is going to go off. This, and I've, what I've noticed through developing it is some compounds that you mix together and on some people's skin they have some sort of weird reaction and they can smell like as acidic, mm -hmm. like uh, a bit like sulfuric acid, that's sort of like yep. acidic heat and right. that's going to go off on some people's skin. Yeah. Okay. And I think the initial pot... So it's going to take that, sorry, it's going to take the tartness of that citrus and it's going to just make that a bit too it, sharp, is it? Is mm, that... No, it, it, something happens um, and I really need to figure out what it is, but I know that when you mix these aroma chemicals together, not on everyone, mm. on some people's skin, you get that sort of real acidic, almost like a gone off sour. And that's the, the terpenes, the terpenol, uh, those sort of compounds, they smell and they just sort of... Mm. I don't know, I think they I, I don't know quite why. There's got to be a chemical reaction. Chemical. Yeah. Terpenes are sort of really important industrially, but I don't use them because you get, on well, some people's skin, they sort of change. Yeah, you can smell it. There's like, it's based on ice super, so this you can smell the ice super because it's right. got that woody, ambery. Yeah, musky. Mu yeah, well, that's yeah. the musk. But it, the, the musk in this is top note musk mixed yeah. with some uh, base note, and you can smell right. it. So it's, they've designed this to be super, super radiant, but you're not going to get any longevity from it. This I don't like at all. So this I, I think it's going to get like a six. I think it's alright. Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you what it is. Um, it is a flanker to Dolce oh, Gabbana's no. uh, light blue. Oh, I, do you know I is, love light blue? I the, do. Oh, I love dear. light blue. Light blue all intense is my favourite. But this is the new one, light blue forever. I'd 100% agree with you. Okay. I'd give this one a six out of ten as well. Yeah, disappointing. And in my review, I said exactly what you oh, said. Oh right, okay. That it's got a really bright, strong, gorgeous, fruity opening. I got a lot of grapefruit in the opening yeah, of this. Yeah, that, that's uh, the that's methyl pampamus, and it's the yeah. methyl pampamus mixed with the uh, terpenol compounds, mixed with the acetates. That goes off, and it's that sort of like it's just 
a little bit too genetic. At this yeah. point, do you know the yeah. original one, the woman's one? Yeah. I love. Right. And I used to say to a girl when I did my A levels, and I used to, because she just wore that. Right. It, there, there was a cleanness to it. That's clever perfumery. Okay. This unfortunately is computer generated and finessed. Yeah. This is all bright realistic citrus for about 20 minutes, and then it dries and then down. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I got. Some people get diff diff have a different experience. Um, Shame. To, to me, but for me, I got the same as you on that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, now let's go back to the beginning okay. then. So the first one oh, that right. you smelled was the Creed. Um, the one that, uh, and you, about this one, you said you thought it, it was a bit older. Yeah. Uh, very masculine, but older. Yeah. A lot of people do say that about Creed Viking, but this is Viking Cologne. Oh, no. Um, so I think you, you said a bit of mint, um, bitter, herbal. Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, so yeah, I, I quite like this because um, the dry, it dries down smoother and sweeter. It goes a little bit creamy. I think yeah. the sandalwood really comes out in the dry down. All right, the next one, and you gave that one a seven. Your next one, you also gave a seven, was the newest flanker to oh. Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal. This is on board. Okay. You said the same thing as me. You match my opinions on this one as well. In my video, I said quite a nice opening, but um, dries down to be just this generic, slightly boring fragrance. Davidoff uh, Cool Water. You said this smelled Creed-like, so that's a compliment to this. Yeah, because they're using uh, Creed uses high amounts of ambroxan in pretty yeah. much everything, and that's an ambroxan heavy. Yeah. But the way they're creating it is they've obviously they know what they're doing. Yeah. So that is high amounts of ambroxan, uh, hedione, isu super, and then the major form materials are high up, and then yeah. the citrus, and that's like the basis of Creed, which yeah. is uh, what they do, which is. They're ambroxan heavy. Everything they do is pretty much, I don't know about everything, but they are an ambroxan heavy house. So when I smell ambroxan with those raw materials, so they've designed that to go after the Creed money. That's interesting. Okay, so this is the parfum. This is the latest okay, it's flanker. Nice. So it yeah. doesn't smell like the original Cool Water no, to me. No, not at all. Um, it's interesting what you say about a lot of ambroxan because to me, this one reminded me of Dior Sauvage, which is a very yeah, ambroxan okay. heavy fragrance. So so it, is, it is, it is ambroxan. So yeah. I think if they, how much is it? Um, this is, well, because it's just been released, uh, it, I can't remember the exact price. It should be about 60. The cool, I think it's probably even less than that, but the cool wow. waters get go down in price very quickly. Oh, I th well, I think you'll that, be, that In a year's time, you'll be able to get this for about 20, 30 quid, I would say. <sighs> well, I think... I, I enjoyed I, this, yeah. That, I think, I think is, uh, for what it is, yeah. I mean, I, I, it should be 60. Right. Because it's... But the high amount of the major raw materials, really, really apparent. It's got that yeah. smooth, uh, smoothness combined with the ambroxan. Yeah. But I love the way it's Hedion Isu Super ambroxan, mm -hmm. and then the musk. I think it's yeah. really good. But they go. It's going, good, yeah. Based off. on what you said, you've inspired me to, to wear this a bit more it, than it, I have done. But they're going after the the creep money. Yeah. Taylor I liked money. this. The only thing I found was that it was a little bit derivative of Dior Sauvage. But um, I actually yeah. think it's a good fragrance. Yeah, I enjoy it. And Mr. Gamba's in it as well. It's all right. Yeah. All right. The yes. one that you really liked, yeah. that you gave a nine out of ten yeah, for. I like it. St another flanker. Stronger with you, absolutely. Yeah, the latest I like it. in the Stronger Very with nice. you from Emporio. Has it got oh, rum in it? It's a big rum. Yeah, okay. It does have rum in it. Yeah. This guy's got. I wasn't going to mention that. I, was, yeah. I didn't want to lead you and so, say, did you get the rum? But then no, you just so, mentioned so it. So, how they're doing go. that is there's lots of ways to make a rum accord, but one yeah. of them is to use Eugenol. Benza Benz weight, cinema alcohol, cinema cinema. That you can sort of like with marketing finesse it as a uh, alcoholic rum finish to it. There's lots of other ways, but that's what they're going after. Is like rum, vanilla, cumarin. That I I think it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Long lasting. How much is that one? Um. So. Well, what are these? These aren't the cheapest designers. I think about fifty or sixty. Oh, I think it's worth the money. Yeah. Yeah. I think the way it's built is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's dead on. With. I think it's. Uh, you could put that more and sell it but i think the price is good yeah, yeah. really good brilliant all right so there we go a glowing yeah. review so um you you felt very positively about um, davidoff cool water parfum and uh, i agree and uh, i also agree you were um, very very positive yeah, like about that. strong with you absolutely giving that one a nine out of yeah. ten so that is your favorite of this bunch yeah. okay there we go perfumer rates yeah. these new 2021 releases so thanks for doing that pleasure thank you for having me it's been great to have yeah. aaron back uh, don't forget to go and follow uh, go and subscribe to aaron's channel i'll leave a link on the end screen of the video uh, he reviews and rates fragrances on there um, in a different way because he's much more technical than i am so go and check out his channel also as i said go and check out my new channel there will be a link to that on the end screen as well if you want to see some vloggy filmmaking filmmaking 
<laughs> some <laughs> some vloggy uh, filmmaking style stuff. I've done a little bit of this of that on this channel, but um, the other channel is not fragrance related. So. Um, Go and check it out. Right, thanks, Aaron. It's been a pleasure, pleasure again. Thanks yeah. for coming. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.